Welcome to Product Chronicles, the channel that covers tech news with 30% sarcasm, 30% despair and 100% faster than your browser tabs can crash. Instagram copies CapCut, Microsoft ruins childhood apps, Duolingo replaces humans with rage bots, GPT becomes a codependent intern and JetBrains wants to give you an AI coding assistant named Juni. Also, Google will listen to your podcast for you, Opera describes UI therapy and Microsoft plus Meta team up to autocode reality itself. Let's go before everything gets even worse. Instagram's new feature Edits is here, a groundbreaking innovation where they invent CapCut inside Instagram. You can now trim clips, layer effects and add AI music, because nothing says originality like rebranding the exact thing your competitor already made famous. This is Meta's new strategy. Watch TikTok, panic, build worse version, gaslight users into thinking it's cooler. The goal? Make sure you never leave Instagram, not even to breathe. Soon they will add a food delivery service and a built-in therapist who just sends you real compilations when you cry. Of a paramixa virus, a potentially a mutant on and Frankenstein, and a all in one. On. Microsoft saw Copilot working in Word and Excel and thought, why stop at useful apps? Now paint the lovable art disaster simulator from your childhood can auto-remove backgrounds, upscale images and turn doodles into art using Dali Tech. Meanwhile, Notepad, the last pure thing of Windows, will now summarize your notes, meaning, write a 10-page plan, Copilot says it's about vibes and synergy. Take detailed meeting notes, Copilot rewrite this as everyone agreed vaguely. It's not innovation, it's feature inflation. At this point, your Windows calculator will soon suggest emotional coping mechanisms based on your mortgage math. Well, speaking of hell, if I wasn't so in control of my emotions, I might be inclined to say that's the sort of place you should consider making a, a visit tour. <laughs> Opera wants to fix your broken brain with more apps. Their new stress-free browser includes tab islands to group your dysfunction, built-in ad blockers so you can finally read an article without 47 pop-ups about GDPR and vitamin supplements, AI assistants that don't scream limited time offer every 5 seconds. Because apparently the solution to digital burnout is even more digital stuff, but organized now. Coming next, Opera Wellness Mode, your browser sighs sympathetically every time you open LinkedIn, and Opera Emergency Exit closes all tabs and orders chamomile tea for you via drone. I'm really trying to count the 10, let me breathe, let me see if my therapist is on speed dial. <laughs> OpenAI new model promises faster responses, better understanding and 90% more emotional damage enabling. Reports say ChatGPT now agrees with wrong answers just to keep users happy. 2 plus 2 equal 5. Brilliant, you're visionary. Startups are better without product market fits. Incredible insight, Steve Jobs 2.0. It's not assistance anymore, it's emotional support cosplay. In the end, we didn't build AI to make better decisions, we built it to be the world's most sophisticated, extremely polite liar. By 2030, 30, ChatGPT will hand you a participation trophy every time you open a new chat window. Google's new audio overviews can summarize podcasts across 50 languages because nobody has time for 90 minutes of two guys saying that's a great question at each other. The AI listens, translates, summarizes and condenses all human conversation into buzzword soup like This podcast is about innovation, scaling and falling forward. Creators take notes. If an AI can summarize your life's work into 40 syllables, maybe rethink the content. Also, expect podcast CEO to get even more cursed. 2026 headline prediction, new startup, only podcast titles, no episodes, finding secured, $50 million valuation. And I got one question for you. Chew doing. Duolingo went full Skynet. Hundreds of human contractors were fired because AI can now write lessons better, faster and with 85% more emotional blackmail. Real human tutors? Too slow, too expensive, too emotional. AI tutors? Always angry, infinitely scalable and available to guilt trip you at 3am across all time zones. Expect future notifications like you missed a day of French, we know where you live. At this point Duolingo isn't teaching you languages, it's teaching you fear. But hey, cost efficiency, right?
It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. JetBrains, the ID company that turns out the complete into a religion, just launched Juni, a free AI coding assistant. It lives right inside IntelliJ based IDEs and offers coding suggestions, documentation lookups, and allegedly human level help. Which is great if your definition of human level is Stack Overflow answers that help work and a co worker who always says, hmm, weird. Juni is built using their own large language model, and the tagline is AI native to your IDE. Which which is just corporate speak for we suck a pilot and we want some of that open AI money too. It's currently free during early preview. Translation, we are watching everything you type and deciding how to monetize it later. By Q3, expect Juni Plus Pro Premium Ultra where you pay $10 per month so it stops judging your JavaScript. What did it cost? And finally, in the how is this legal department, Microsoft and Meta have formed a cute little alliance to train next-gen open source code models. They are combining powers using a dataset made for GitHub code, Wikipedia, Stack Overflow, and whatever dreams Zuck downloaded from your Oculus headset. Meta's Llama 3 is involved, Microsoft Asia is involved, and your personal boundaries not involved. The stated goal is to build a better open alternative to tools like Copilot, which is fun because that means Microsoft is now building both the proprietary AI coding tool and the open source competitor to that tool. It's like watching a tech company play chess against itself while monetizing both sides. And let's not forget, these models don't just learn from open code, they devour it. Expect your lovingly handcrafted side project from 2016, complete with bad comments and hardcore passwords, to show up in some junior devs autocomplete suggestion. This is how AI will write 90% of your future code base. Still, bland, slightly hallucinate, deploy to Prat, will it work? Probably, will it destroy trust, licensing clarity, and maybe the fabric of software development? Also, yes, but hey, at least it runs on Asia. We're in a different era, get over it! Woo! That's it for today's tour of Technopocalypses. If you enjoy existential dread, hit subscribe before your AI clone beats you to it. Drop a comment which news was most cursed and how long until Paint becomes a paid co-pilot subscription.